It's hard to believe you can be fired for this, but it's true. Half of Americans live in a state with no legal protections for LGBTQ people. They could be fired from their jobs, evicted from their homes, denied credit, or worse. Imagine you're a gay couple celebrating your anniversary. You walk into a restaurant to have a nice dinner. The manager or the server doesn't approve, says they won't serve you, tells you to get out. That's wrong. Imagine you're a transgender woman and you walk into a store to buy a dress. The clerk decides they don't like transgender people, doesn't want to sell you a dress, tells you they won't sell it to you. That's wrong. Imagine you're a lesbian couple with three kids. You've been dreaming of buying a house. You walk into the bank to get a home loan, but the manager of the bank doesn't approve of your relationship, doesn't like your family, refuses to give you credit. Imagine you're a gay couple who just got married, the best day of your life, but then your landlord finds out, decides to evict you. Imagine you're a transgender kid going to school every day. Your teacher won't use the right pronoun. The other kids are harassing you. The school won't let you use a restroom consistent with your gender identity. You should be able to do something about that. You don't have to imagine these things. They happen each and every day. That's why we need the Equality Act. The Equality Act would provide federal protections on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity in all of these key areas of life. Employment, housing, credit, education, jury service, public spaces and services, and federally funded programs. The purpose of the Equality Act is to provide the same protections to LGBTQ people that already exist in federal law. But federal law is not perfect. There are ways to improve it as well. One of the things the Equality Act does is it adds protections for women. Right now, women are often charged more when they go into a dry cleaner than men for the same service, the same type of shirt. The Equality Act would fix that. If you're a person of color under current federal law, you're protected in a lot of ways. But if you walk into a retail store and the mall security trails you and your friends around the mall because you look suspicious, that's not illegal now, but the Equality Act would give you recourse. The good news is the House of Representatives will soon be voting on the Equality Act, but we need your help. We need you to call your member of Congress and tell them to vote yes.